Hey, love bugs. It's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. For the new subscribers that are stopping by, thank you for stopping by my channel and seeing what I'm about for my returning subs. Also, thank you so much for the love and support. For everybody, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have been watching my videos and have not yet, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Sorry, I got some notifications popping all up on the side like crazy. Um, so, yes, I would love to hear from you, even if it's about, you know, your experiences being a hey Oka or any kind of spiritual gift that you actually have, or even about the content of my video, it will greatly be appreciated. Or if you feel like you enjoyed what you heard, or, you know, you can resonate with what you heard, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. That will also be greatly appreciated, too. And thank you for stopping by my channel, and I hope you can resonate with what I got to talk about today. And I am listening, my meditation music I am listening to is 741 hertz, getting rid of all the toxins and negativity. Soothing, so Figo frequency music. So I hope I pronounced that right, but I will be posting that link in the description box below. It is very soothing. Um, yeah, but my video, I got so much stuff to talk about. It is just crazy. Um... My video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, seizing the moment. Seizing our moment. You have to get ready. <laughs> we, are, we, Whatever you have to release, whatever you are going through, please release it. Because there is something coming. I don't know what it is. And we're, I don't know if we're all prepared for it. We're not. Because it was like last night, I was watching um, my girl Daphne's video this morning. I don't know why we were in tune like that. It's crazy. Me and her can both be having a good day at some time. And then it was really good. But it's just like yesterday, it, it was it was just crazy. All the emotions and stuff. But yeah, I don't know if y'all been going through it or not. But with the shift that's going on, the shift that, uh, that we had, you know, back and forth, it's just been, you know, breaking out in hives, itching like crazy, emotions going like crazy, you know past experiences or future experiences keep popping up in your head visions are coming you might get chills up and down you know your spine you might be reoccurring headaches body aches i know i am i don't know about you you know let me know if you are but i mean something's coming because i mean i did a purge yesterday you know dealing with hearing about my friend mike's uh suicide you know was heartbreaking and trying to deal with that on top of dealing with my father's you know being passed away for two years and dealing with his birthday. That was a lot of stuff to deal with because it was like more emotional stuff was coming up that had a lot to do with me and his relationship that I thought was truly over. But it kept on always taking me back to, you know, when we first talked, when I first found out our connection. So um, it was just like I kept going back to that inner child and I kept going back to it. And I really had to release. And so it's just like, you know, when spirit guides tell me, hey, you need to start cracking them and letting them know. And I know I'm talking about something because my, my right side of my nose is itching like crazy. So um, it's just so many things that I've been seeing. All these signs and synchronicities are coming up. And then it was just like after that purge, I had this empty feeling. Like, I don't know if y'all can feel my vibes from different from today than other couple of days and it, I feel so light I got up exercised this morning sit up here and said the things you know I dealt with yesterday I'm not going to deal with today and it's just like I'm releasing I'm purging I'm you know the confidence even though I've had confidence it's just like the, the stuff that I wasn't sure about is starting to come to surface and so I released all that baggage from my childhood and I'm just like okay now what do I do now I feel so empty, but it's a good feeling, but all these good feelings are coming in because it was like so crazy. Ever since I did that, it's like I was on the phone um, talking to a dear friend of mine and just start releasing next thing. You know, I looked at my phone and I pulled it up and it was like my screen was split, but it looked like a mirror and it was like double of everything. Whatever was on this side was the same thing on this side. And I tried to screenshot and I wish I would have took my other phone and just would have videotaped that because it never showed back up again. But I'm just looking at my phone and I'm freaking out like, I wish you can see this. And I was telling her, I wish you can really see this. 
because everything is doubled up and it was like my phone had split but it looked like a mirror so it was just like weird things start happening my cat start acting crazy you know he wouldn't get near me and i'm just like you know electronics start acting all crazy and stuff like that but spirit guys keep telling me you know i hope you're ready i hope you're ready it's we're coming you know we done had two suicides by you know other than my friend there was two suicides from two celebrities in the last 24 hour period you know anthony bourdain um and the chick i forgot her first name spade she used to um she was a fashion designer clothing designer that i guess was dealing with depression and stuff like that and it's just like these people are not wiping themselves off for no daggone reason i really feel that way i don't, I don't know about you but i really feel like there is something deeper than that for people just to be up and committing suicide like that. Because, I mean, it's just the feelings I've been having lately. It's not bad, but it's just like, it's not, it's foreign. It's very foreign. And it's like, I, I will get this burst of energy. Um, I don't know where all these things are coming from. So, when they tell me I need to start helping y'all get ready... I need to start making more of my videos to get y'all prepared for whatever's coming. We need to get ready. So whatever you're dealing with, you need to, you know, recognize whatever you're dealing with and please let it go and let it go quick. That's all I'm saying. I mean, all jokes aside, <laughs> I'm being straight serious. There is something going on and they keep on telling me, you know, I had to release last night. They said it's time for you to let whatever is left, let it go. And I feel so much better. You know, I really feel so much better. It was humid outside, and I actually went on a nature walk. Rosalind don't do that, <laughs> okay? I do not do that. I don't like being sweaty and all that other stuff. But I actually went outside. You know, I started seeing all these numbers, you know, all 777 It just kept reoccurring. I keep on hearing, you know, you need to get ready. I don't know what's going on. But, you know, whatever you, you're, you're dealing with, you know, the next day, you know, we can go through something. You can have an issue with a friend. You can have an issue with a co-worker. You can have issues with your finances, you know, family members. And it's just like sometimes we can really go through things. And we'll wake up the next morning and think about the same stuff we dealt with, you know, yesterday and the day before. Some of us can actually deal with stuff and just let it go. Me, on the other hand, I'll be trying to fix stuff and just, just to let it go. I don't know. I got to dig deeper into that. So it's just like, instead of just like dwelling on stuff like that, when you get up in the morning, and I mean, some days I understand, we're not all going to have good days every day. But when I wake up in the morning now, it's just like, I'm going to make sure it's going to be a good day. You all, When you say I am, you always have to make sure that you're pushing that out to the universe to determine that this, no matter what goes on, you're going to still have a good day. You're going to try to have a good day as best as you possibly can. See whatever kind of positive lesson lesson message they're trying to send you you want to make sure you understand that make sure when you're saying i am you're putting something positive in front of it i'm going to get through this i will conquer this i will succeed off of that and that's what i've been doing lately so it's just like i'm feeling all the good around me no matter what's going on you know there's days you know i have to align myself and it was just like you know you guys are, you, you know love books are so used to me having videos out early in the morning when you're getting ready to do you know take your kids off to school or you know get ready for work or whatever but it was like after i made that video i didn't like the way it was presented even though you know people got it and they understood where i was coming from and it came from a good place but it's just when i'm in that that moment like that and you know they told me it was time for me to make that video even though i was feeling that way but if i'm not aligned i don't like making videos because it's like that's not the message i'm trying to send out to you you know regardless of what other people do or whatever how they do things I, you know i try not to do that you know i mean there's sometimes people can get their message across like that and some people can't but it's just when i come to my this is like my sanctuary. This is my peace. It's just, you know, I, I voice my opinion. Whatever I'm going through, I make sure I make a message because I know somebody else is going through that too. So I hope you're able to resonate with this video. Uh, stay safe. I know you guys are ready for the weekend. I am too because it's been long. So I hope you be safe, safe and be responsible in every single thing that you do. Stay blessed. Stay prosperous. You know, spread love, spread, spread awareness, you know, tell your story. You never know what 
somebody might need to take out of that so they can be able to tell their story too. And if you see somebody, help them if you can. Spread positivity, spread love as you possibly can. And I'll see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. And share this video if you feel like you, uh, that you resonate with it. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.